Well, hello again from Kingston. It's the shortest work week of the year and we're just two days away from Christmas. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all my viewers and the workers on the third crossing for a great 2021. Much better than some other aspects. Join me in a few days for a year end review. And in the meantime, have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks for watching. These images from Sunday, the 19th of December, reveal what a snowy Saturday we had. When Monday came, there was more than a little clearing up to do. When it was time for Sousa to remove the tarps they'd had in place for curing. Because special black tarpaulins had been laid on the deck of the steel structure beforehand, removal there was considerably easier. This meant that there was little or no interruption to work on the structure and that once emptied, the tarpaulins could be replaced and relayed. There was mechanical assistance in clearing Gore Road too. But the tasks you see are amongst the last performed by this versatile little skid steer. A clear indicator that work was coming to a close was the removal of several items of rental equipment this week from the East End. There was snow clearance to be done on the West End as well. A look along the concrete spans revealed just how far the work of installing fencing has come. Work to install the dividing wall between pedestrians and vehicles continues too. Although there will be no shortage of work in 2022, progress on the concrete section of the bridge is steady and relentless. Back on the east end, survey checks permitted the work of installing the fence line to continue. all the blocks firmly and correctly located. It was time to begin backfilling and compaction. By Wednesday, the linked line fencing team were ready to begin introducing the bolts that will likely secure the fence. Up on the intersection of Highway 15, Black and MacDonald made a major contribution to installing the cabling for the junction this week. Measuring and laying out the cable required is a critical preparation for what then becomes the physical act of pulling the cable through the various conduits. To a lay observer it may look like some sort of wire puzzle, but to skilled and experienced professionals it's all in a day's work. We saw a surveyor earlier working on the fence line, and towards the close of the week he was busy on span 21, which bodes well for next year. Before we go to wildlife for the last time this year, I want to give a shout out to the boat crew who contribute 
considerably in some awful conditions to the protection of the environment and the workforce. Well, that almost wraps 2021 up. And don't forget, look out for a year-end review with all the changes that we've accomplished in the last year. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe, stay well. See you in 2022.